Hi guys, it's Shani from Yanomize and I am at Santa Pod Raceway. The race today is an interesting one. We've got Daniel. You all know Daniel from Asheville. That is his Rolls Royce Wraith. And I've got a friend of mine called Harry. You haven't seen this guy before. He's got a Ben Tager. He actually does have a Rolls Royce Wraith and I told him to bring his Wraith so we can go like for like. He decided to bring his wife's Ben Tager. You know what? We're still gonna run it and I hope you enjoy this race. You big dosser. Yeah. Okay, so let me bring Daniel in. Daniel, come in. You well? What's happening? Harry, come in. How are you? Good. So, first of all, you're supposed to bring me a Wraith and you brought me the wife, Ben Tager. What happened? You know, like when Mickey Fallon goes out and he ends up out, out. I only went to get some bread, so she's going to go mad when she sees this, but... Has she got any idea you're going to put it on the track today? No, she doesn't. She thinks I'm coming back with Hovis. Okay. Daniel, that's obviously your car. Yes. So you can do what you want with that. Yes, I can go as slow as I like. I've been told now, on paper, these two do 0 to 6 in the same time. Is that correct? Apparently so, yeah. Apparently so. No, I think they definitely do, actually. They definitely do. Okay. Have you ever drag raced before? Never. Not in this car. Lie. Lie. You drag race in my car, not me. Oh, did you not do it? No, you do it. You took it off me. <laughs> I'll take that back. Have you ever dragged race in any car? Forget this one. In any car. A long time ago, I think, yeah. Yeah, a long time ago. So, do you think you've got a bit of an advantage over him? I think this will get power to the wheels better than that. Because I know this car. I know this car better than I know that car. Of course, because you got that car as well. So, yeah, you're in trouble. Ooh. I think so. Ooh, ooh, hold on. Hold your chest big and strong yet. Yeah? You're in trouble. I think so. <laughs> Can't do that yet. <laughs> Back your talk. Daniel. I think so. It's all about the reaction time. And no matter what happens, I'm going to be comfortable. You know, there's a lot of elegance, a lot of style. I think I'll put on like a, a piano playlist or something like that. And I'll enjoy the race from start to finish, all two weeks of it. Okay, so that's quite a good talk, sort of. Let's do a reaction test. Hmm. Hold on, wait. Wow, you're thinking quite high. No, no, don't bring your hand down. Bro, don't try it. Okay, no, don't bring your hand down. Stop I'm, I'm giving you 18. Don't try it. 18, okay? It's a little bit slow. I didn't know what you were doing. You are a giant feature, so the hand reactions might be a little bit slow. Shouldn't you measure it like my hand is? No. No. He's, I'll tell you, he's ready for this, isn't he? Are right, you ready? Look at his crab hands, Sebastian, man, Little Mermaid. <laughs> oh! Like, oh! Like, oh! There go. Seven. What do I get? I don't know. It was that. Um, I, I think I was around that. I was around. You're that. around yeah. seven hundred. Yeah. So that's one nil to you, Harry. Harry's walking around very confident. Like he's he's walking around like I'm the big I am. I'm the big cheese. Let's get in the cars and work this out. But I can't, it's, it's, it's hardly fair and it's, it's a bit insulting. He's done things to wind me up. It's like he's doing a bit of a Tyson Fury. He's dancing around calling me a big dosser. He's got a, a car seat. He's got a car seat in the back. He's got a dog seat. I didn't even know there was such a thing as a dog seat. Like he's got a dog seat, car seat. He's got, he's got, he misses his number plate on the car. He's trying to wind me up calling me a big dosser. But mate, I told that's... him how to put the car in sports mode. He didn't even know. I said, if you put it in, I said, when you put it in low mode, I said, it goes a lot faster, I thought doesn't he meant it? Suspension. He said, that's a suspension. So I've actually helped you. I've actually helped you do it. And I, and I helped you when I decided not to disconnect any of your brakes or let any air out of your tyres. Well, listen, talk's done. Daniel, get in your car. Harry, get in your car. And let's make the race happen. Good luck. Harry Fenner, property investment, and I brought my wife's Bentley Bentayga. She asked me to go and get bread, and I've ended up at Santa Pod. It wasn't planned. I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. I think I'm going to win, because I think it's a bit sluggish, and he weighs about 50 stone, so I think I'm going to win. My name is Daniel ashfield Louise, and I'm in construction, waste management, and aggregate supply. What's special about the car? The fact that it's actually not at my house for once. It generally just sits at my house and collects dust, but today it is on the road, and I think the engine actually warmed up to its working temperature for once. I don't fancy my chances. Uh, my car was made for luxury and not speed. I find it actually a bit of a disrespect that I'm going to lose to someone who brought his wife's car and has a dog seat and a baby seat in the back. Uh, perhaps when I lose, I should slash his tyres in the car park afterwards so he doesn't get home. 
I'm thinking about it, seriously considering it. You big dosser. Yeah, right. Where'd that come from? <laughs> Enjoying life. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, everyone, hello, hello. Harry up against Daniel. I was quite surprised. Harry was real confident, shall we say. So I don't think Harry likes to lose. And we know Daniel doesn't like to lose. Um, they're coming out now. Let's see, look at, his, look, at his, look at his face. Harry is serious. battering 12.6 13.36 i think if daniel gets a better reaction time i think he gives him a better run we're gonna run this again let's run this for a second time <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> i'm gonna write you off <laughs> How do you think you did? No, 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 what, what, I think we need to do it again. Well, no, we are gonna do it again, but you need to pay attention to the lights, Daniel. Okay. Okay, you got, when it goes green, you've got to go, man. The, okay. That light was green and you were sitting there, and I'm like, go on, go, It's not me, the, 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 the pedal isn't reacting to what I'm doing. Is your foot, is your left foot on the brake? No. I didn't know how to do, I, I've never okay. raced before. When you sit there, your left foot should be on the brake. Yeah and your right foot ready. Oh no, so I didn't do that, I just took my foot off. You just let it go. Oh, I didn't know that. All right, give me another go. You're gonna get another go, but it's your last chance, All right, okay? I got it, I got when it. When it goes green. I got it. You're like the smiling assassin, mate. You give it, I don't wanna be on camera. I brought my wife's car. I only went to get a loaf of Hovis, and then you're here, serious. I was a bit slow on the takeoff, though. Let me ask you this. Where's your, where's your right foot? My right foot? Yeah. On the accelerator. And where's your left foot? On the brake. Daniel didn't do that. Oh, right. Daniel had his right foot on the right. So by the time he comes off, and you've got to remember, he's got like a size 27 foot, brings his big box off, and then he moves it across, and then he puts it on. No wonder you were gone. Anyway, let's see what happens now. What's happened here is they've tried to pull a fast one. So no one told, I've never raced before, so no one told me to leave my foot on the brake and the other foot on the gas. No one told me that, but this time I know. So now we're going to find out. They tried to... They tried to skank me, but now I figured out what's going on. I, I can't be having that. Take two. Program activated. Three, two, one. Engage. To take responsibility for that. What I saw Daniel do, because I could tell from the back of his car, his car sunk down. What he's done is he's kept his foot on the brake, hit the accelerator, but he hasn't removed the brake. <sighs> Today he's going to have to go to Harry. Right, so I just want to say, what happened? I just want to say that this car wasn't built for that sort of despicable juvenile irresponsible childish infantile behavior that's not what this car was built for I just want to put that out there so it's fair to say you took losing very well yes definitely. what i noticed before we go over to harry you were sitting there with your foot on the brake 
and I could see you're hitting accelerate and the car was dunking down, dunking down, rather than actually at least just sit there. You can't be touching it because you don't have a launch control. That's what happens when you have a launch. You can floor the accelerator, have the foot on the brake and just pull the foot off the brake. You got it wrong. Here's what we do. Why don't we bring some lorries here and see if we can work this out. Per correct. Personally though, I think that I would have done... Say that again. I ain't gonna lie, I think I'd do better against Harry actually. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> let's, let's, before, before we do that quick run, Harry, how do you think you've done? All right, look, I, I know that car better than I know this car, so I, I knew its flaws. I feel your pain, Daniel. I feel your pain. It, I know its flaws. It's built for finesse, it's not built for that kind of behavior. <sighs> he looks defeated. I'm gonna go up against Harry. I reckon I'll get a better reaction time. However, I still think he's in a quicker car, but let's see what happens. Harry, you up for it? You know, you know when you're in the courtyard playing football and you're playing football and you're in goal and someone blasts the ball in your face and you go, <laughs> and you cry. And then your older mate or your older brother comes and the one who blasts the ball in your, who blasts the ball in your face, he blasts the ball in his face. Yeah, that's what's about to happen. Revenga! Revenge will be ours. Do me a favor, don't adjust any of my seats or my settings. I've got my, I got my stereo just how I like it, Jan. Oh no, I just smacked the camera. All right, let me hey, see bro, what please, I can do. I beg you win, man. Try. The car man thinks he's got what it takes. This is such a luxury, this car. All right, here we go. Systems active. Three, two, one. Engage. Come on. Oh, it's close. Come on. Come on. And I saw his face, he looked over at me like, damn you, Yanni, damn you. You went before the green. You went, you went before the green. Again, again, we're doing that again. No, 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 no. Harry, if I go before the green, it's a red light. What? If I, if I cheat or I go before, it's a red light. Well, I didn't realize we could, we've got to go again. I didn't realize I could go that quick. Don't chicken out, don't chicken out. <laughs> For someone that didn't want to be on camera, and for someone that was like, no, I'm okay, blah, blah, blah. Well, well, look at that. Son of a Yanni don't know how much the fuel costs in that thing. Here's me a score. Well, on the reaction time, did I jump the start? No, yeah, no, we no. did. No. Did I jump the start? No, no, no. Would it have been red if I jumped the start? Yeah. I think one more go settles it all. We ain't got time. One more, of course we have. Yanni, Come you on. Did it, mate. You've done it. Come on. So what happened? Harry versus Daniel. In the first race, Harry had the upper hand. Quicker reaction time, quicker top speed, quicker quarter mile time, and an overall a quicker finish time. Second time, Daniel's reaction time got slower. Harry's also got slower. And again, Harry was consistent with his 112 mile an hour top speed. Daniel actually had a better top speed this time at 115, uh, but quarter mile time, 12.6 for Harry, 13 just over for Daniel. Now the final race, I stepped in for Daniel. The big key part here was my reaction time and that is what gave me the win. However, if you look at the quarter mile time, Harry still had a better quarter mile time than me, but based on the reaction, I took the win. So overall, the Ben Tager is quicker, but if you're a good driver with a great reaction time, you can get the win. Come on. I don't think I need to race him, yes, do I? Yes, he does, he does. Come I don't on. need to race him, do I? Come on. Come and on. that is the end of this video from myself oh. and Daniel. <laughs> Daniel! <laughs> Harry, you're gonna have to Harry, you're gonna have to come back for another bit of episode. But guys, that's Harry. Check his face out. You're gonna see a lot more of him. Harry's our family. We love Harry. So, so loser, so winner. <laughs> and that's 
another drag race at Santa Pod. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon. Later. How did you lose in front of everyone like that, man? Go take your car. <laughs> take, you lost in front of everyone. Alone. That's well embarrassing, man. Oh, man. Shall I speak to you and see if we get another race? Yeah? Yes, yes. Yeah? Yeah. No. Nah. <laughs> so Daniel versus Harry. Two big egos, two big personalities. There was only ever going to be one winner. And it was me. Listen, Daniel is inexperienced. He doesn't know about launching cars. That's not what he does. He's the construction man. And Harry is the city guy when it comes to property. They were both inexperienced. I think it was very, very fair. I was surprised how well the Bentayga did and how well the Wraith did. They're both very, very heavy, very, very boaty. But I could see there was something missing on Daniel's side. So I was like, let me race. Harry wasn't happy. He's like, you jump the start, you jump the start. You can't jump the start because you'll see the result and it comes up red if I jump the start. So my reaction time was bang on point. Harry, I know you wanted to run again. Not today, mate. <laughs>